So, I'm a drummer, and I love Genshin Impact. The big Genshin Lantern Ride update is right around the corner, and with that, we finally got the playable Cloud Retainer, aka Shan Yun. Everyone's favorite bird mom is playable as a five star animo healer. I'm super excited to check out this demo, see what it's all about, and of course, listen to the music. We're gonna react to it from a drummer's point of view, so if you like the video, be sure to share with your friends, subscribe for more, let's go and check it out. And same drill as always for anyone new to the channel, we'll watch through it once just to get the general impression, then replay it and break down the music a bit. For a modern heroine, we need a modern weapon. Quite. The likes of swords, staffs, Is this a daughter bones, montage? A ubiquitous in opera. We need something hey, that's the song Lee stance! For example, Gusto. Gusto? Gusto? <laughs> Build it up. Ooh. Ooh, that that drop was smooth. That wasn't an abrasive beat drop. That was oh <laughs> bow jangling. That was smooth. That was nice. We got like a halftime beat going on. And of course. The Aru. Right, I think that's an Aru right there. I freaking love that sound, man. Whoa! <laughs> she just interrupted the alt animation. She's utterly ridiculous. An inventress? What a load of. Now she gets to do it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What a nice touch. Jump. <laughs> Give her superpower leaping abilities to a civilian like that. That's wild. Whoa. What a great character design. Well. Have I convinced you yet? Uh, uh, absolutely! Please, Miss Inventress! <laughs> Help me down from here, please! <laughs> she just jumped up the tree like a cat in danger. Alright, let's listen to the music a little bit more there, because you know me, I'm a sucker for Li Wei music. Those traditional Chinese instruments, man, they just... I love the sound. And so... We've got, what, uh, two major transitions here, right? And the one to the first bass drop, and then the second, or, you know, the first beat drop, not necessarily bass drop. And then the second one, when she gets to use her ult after getting interrupted mm, the first time. For a modern heroine, we need a modern weapon. Quite. The likes of swords, staffs, spears, bows are ubiquitous in opera. We need so, something more original. Is this Shinha and Ganyu, like, brainstorming to give Gusto. their mom a cool weapon? I love the use of the term gusto there, because Sean Yoon says it right here as well. Ooh. Damn, dude, that that is too smooth. Man, that might be the smoothest beat drop I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. And it immediately goes into a halftime beat. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, never mind, they're building up there. Okay, so it's halftime. It's halftime the entire duration, but they're throwing in extra snare hits. Oh, wait, what a great frame to pause on. Uh, they're throwing in extra snare hits to kind of break it up and give it a little bit more motion because it's very, uh, I, I guess we could call it very airy. A airy? Animo? Okay. <clears throat> Building up. We've got different snare sound now. See, the different snare sound, it's more poppy, it's more aggressive. They're getting extra hits. It's creating like a sense of a buildup without really being a full blown buildup. She must also be an exceptional inventor. Ooh, yeah. Big splashes. We got the horns coming in now. <clears throat> I used to talk about this a lot with um, the Halo soundtrack. So, Halo in particular makes excellent use of using horns to kind of signify like a moment of triumph. 
And that's not that's not unique to Halo. Don't get me wrong. Like that's a lot of times that's what horns are used for is a moment of triumph. Halo does a really good job of it, and that's actually we I don't feel like we get a lot of it with Genshin, but that's exactly what we get right here. You know, it kind of opens up. We got these big like splashing backgrounds that kind of move away from just gameplay scenes, and they're doing like a custom scene with the cloud retainer. She's kind of bringing stuff down. Then we get the horns coming in. Really cool. She must also be an exceptional inventress. Right here, right? And she's like jumping around, doing epic epic jumps and stuff. The big splash with the cranes. That's so funny. That is so funny. It's like the, they're very self-aware of how Genshin demos go. They all follow the same pattern. Yeah. And again... Really smooth beat drop. It's like the percussion is taking a backseat to the rest of the instrumentation. It's just there to kind of like set the foundation to let everything else dance on top of it. Like the, the percussion is fairly aggressive through that section. It just sits further back in the mix. And it's not a super aggressive sound, you know? It's a bit more of a, like, softer digital sound. And it just blends really, really well. Like, if you heard this on an acoustic drum kit, the playing is actually pretty aggressive, but the sound mellows it out so much. Really interesting composition choice. Well, have I convinced you yet? Just up in the tree, but that's so funny. Put me down from here, please. <laughs> that's funny. That's a that's a unexpectedly humorous character demo. So that's the cloud retainer demo. We got a little preview of the cloud retainer theme. I kind of hate the fact that they just dropped the album, the Hoyo Mix album, with all the character themes, meaning that we're gonna have to wait basically a full year before we get like a proper official release for the Sean Yoon theme because that was a really cool song man the, those soft beat drops were really really neat and of course like I said before the the leeway traditional Chinese instrumentation I I am a sucker 100% that's on me I just like it there's nothing wrong with personal taste right I just like it a lot so anyways let me know in the comments are you going to be pulling for Sean Yoon I still feel a little bit torn personally We'll probably see what happens when the game uh, gets updated and she's actually in there and playable. We do a little character trial. I tend to lose control after playing a character trials, but we'll see. I will be streaming right here on YouTube to celebrate the launch of Shun Yoon, the Cloud Retainer. We're going to be checking out her character. We're going to be checking out Lantern Right stuff, the new area in Liwe. I'm super excited. It's right here on YouTube. You don't have to bounce around to a bunch of different websites to catch the streams. Just hit the subscribe button and I'll see you then. Love the games, love yourself, and I love you. Bye!